Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tovia. I am doing a requested recipe on how to make Southern Smothered Cabbage, aka Fried Cabbage. This is a vegetarian version. Feel free to modify this recipe to your liking. This is the foundation on how to make delicious, quick and easy cabbage. So let's begin with today's tutorial. You'll find all the ingredients you'll need in the description box as well as throughout the video. So before I begin with today's tutorial, I ask that you please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell and select all notifications to be notified of my uploads. So here I'm putting in about three and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And I have one large white onion that I just sort of coarsely chopped. Now this mother cabbage is going to be vegetarian, but if you like to use any type of meat such as uh, hog jaws or fat bag, bacon, sausage, anything like that to render the fat from it, feel free. So I'm going to cook the onion on high heat. I'm going to stir it every so often. I'm going to cook it for about four minutes. So my onions have been cooking for about four and a half minutes and I've been stirring them every so often and they're starting to get brown. So to the onions, I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of minced garlic. And I'm adding the garlic in for um, last because I don't want the garlic to burn. I'm going to give everything a stir. So I'm going to turn my heat down to medium high. And I have three pounds of cabbage um, cut up. The cabbage head itself was three and a half pounds, but without the core, it's three pounds of cabbage. So I have three pounds of cabbage. You can cut it how you desire. I sort of cut mine's like one and a half inch pieces. And my cabbage has been cleaned. I'm going to just sort of give everything a light toss here. Now cabbage usually creates its own water, but I like to add a little bit of water to my cabbage. So I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of water. This will just get everything going. And I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes with the lid on and then we're going to come back and add our seasonings and let it cook further. So my cabbage has been going for 10 minutes and I added in a couple of teaspoons of kosher salt along with a tablespoon of paprika, two teaspoons of coarsely ground black pepper and two teaspoons of onion powder and I'm going to stir all those in, all those spices in. And I'm just using my spoon to sort of break some of that cabbage apart that's still kind of stuck together. Now you could totally customize the spices, you know, just make it yours. I'm just providing the foundation on how to make the smothered cabbage. Now it doesn't take very long to cook at all. So I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let this cook on medium high heat, medium heat actually. And I'm going to let it go for another 10 minutes or so. And I'm just going to cook it until it's at my desired tenderness. Here is my delicious smothered cabbage. And I served it with some cornbread. This is my copycat uh, recipe for Jiffy cornbread. So check that out. So here goes. Everything looks so, so delicious. It smells delicious. Mmm. So good, so delicious. Nice balance from the salt and pepper. And I love how the onions just really sweeten this because we browned them first. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Wow. <laughs> I love smothered cabbage. Mm. It's nice, garlicky, delicious. Please add this video to your playlist and hit the thumbs up, share this video and leave a comment down below. Thank you to all of my subscribers for your support. I really, truly appreciate it. Please remember to live and be well. Let's come together and love each other. Till next time.